Hi, welcome to this video on tissue expander breast reconstruction by West County Plastic Surgeons of Washington University. Tissue expanders can be placed after several different forms of mastectomy. Considerations are the skin envelope and the position of the nipple and the areola on the breast. The breast itself has a tail that extends into the armpit and the breast tissue has several ducts that lead into the nipple areola complex. One form of mastectomy is a skin sparing mastectomy where only the nipple and the areola and a small amount of skin are taken. In this way most of the breast skin is preserved but the nipple and the areola are removed. In some cases, a modified radical mastectomy is required. In this case, the nipple and the areola, as well as a larger amount of skin, are removed. This is also common in patients who are large-breasted. This is done to remove excess skin in those patients. In some patients, a nipple-sparing mastectomy can be performed. In this case, the nipple and the areola are left and an incision is made in the central breast and the breast tissue removed through this small incision. In other patients, a nipple areola sparing mastectomy can be performed and in this case, the incision is typically made underneath the breast crease. In this case, the nipple and the areola are left untouched and all of the breast skin is left. Here are the preoperative markings for a patient about to undergo a skin sparing mastectomy and they include the midline, the inframammary fold under the breast, and then the skin removal. Here, there is a sponge in the breast, and in this case, the mastectomy has just been completed. The sponge is removed, and what you can now see is the underlying pectoralis major muscle, or the chest muscle on the chest wall. The nipple is, and the areola are now absent, and the breast tissue is absent, and what is left is some thin skin and then the underlying muscle. Shown here is the outside edge of the pectoral or chest muscle. Here, the lower edge of the pectoral muscle has now been released. The tissue expander is placed underneath the pectoral muscle, but as you can see, the pectoral muscle attaches higher on the chest than the low crease of the breast. So an internal structure known as alloderm is placed in that area to bridge the gap. The alloderm is that white structure that you're seeing now in the video. Now, the tissue expander is placed between the pectoralis muscle and the alloderm and there you see the tissue expander now lying underneath those two structures. The pectoral muscle is then sewn to the alloderm and then the tissue expander is filled up. Then the breast incision is closed. To learn more about breast reconstruction or cosmetic surgery, please visit us online or call 996-8800 for an appointment.